Attorney General Ken Cuccinelli recently wrote a letter to public universities encouraging them to rescind their policies of anti-discrimination on the basis of sexual orientation. In response, VCU Provost Stephen Goffertson hosted a series of forums to hear opinions from the VCU community. We asked members for their opinions of the forum as well as VCU response to the letter. We're a huge university and we are incredibly diverse and something we're really proud of. So, you know, it kind of behooves us to make a statement. It's just interesting that because um, this has to do with um, the rights of lesbian, gay, uh, bisexual, transgender, queer, questioning and intersex, um, the, that community that, that is in question more so than, you know, other categories of non-discrimination. Virginia Tech was willing to stand up and say no right off the bat. As progressive and open as a diverse university as VCU is, why did our administration falter? Why did we hesitate? Why didn't we just turn around and tell them no? I had mixed feelings about this forum because I think on the one hand it's great that people can come up and speak and be heard uh, and uh, there's another part of me that really wonders like, you know, would we be having a community forum if they were talking about race or gender uh, or would the university bring out a lawyer and say this is ridiculous, this is outrageous, why would we do that and I really wanted us to treat sexual orientation the same way we would treat race or gender or religion or any of these other categories of non-discrimination. I want to know, you know that the administration is behind us and not just saying well we're maintaining our policies for now you know because that could be in question. We want to know for sure what they're thinking. It does affect people regardless of orientation or gender identity. It affects all students um, and non-discrimination isn't something that I, you know, I don't think any student wants to feel unsafe at their university. In a way, it may end up being a very positive thing because it has just absolutely coalesced the GLBT community at the faculty and student level, and now he's got um, an army against him. You know, the saying, Virginia is for lovers. Well, really, it should have been Virginia is for the right kind of lovers, um, the politically okay kind of lovers. Um, but unfortunately, you know, so that anybody who's partnered or, you know, GLBT, whatever you want to call it, they don't feel safe in this state. And I've had incidents, you know, where people have come and told me who are trans students here at VCU, where they were beaten up because they were trans. I mean, it's just, and there's no protection, you know, for trans or intersex individuals.